Now on to baseball. First we're going to do baseball. The World Series happened last night. The Texas Rangers are the World Series champions. Corey Seager gets the MVP of the Fall Classic. He went 6 for 21, 286 doubles, 3 walks, 6 RBIs, 6 runs scored. He also had a great postseason. I think that's one of the reasons they named him MVP. The Rangers have won the World Series for the first time. Some local ties, assistant manager, general manager, Dayton Moore, who gets another ring. He's been an assistant manager for the Braves, Rangers, and Royals, and won all the World Series with all those teams. Jim, former Royal Chris Young, pitcher, is now the general manager of the Texas Rangers. This is a big accomplishment for the Rangers. But not a small market team, which the Diamondbacks would be, and I would have wished the Diamondbacks win. But let's listen in to the final call. Final was 5 nothing. We'll move on to football next on San Juan Sports. We now have Prince Harry, a longtime champion of mental health, giving the world a look at how, at how he heals, allowing cameras into his therapy session where he uses EMDR. It's a technique to help treat trauma. Maggie Ruley has that story for us. Good morning, Maggie. Hey, Robin, good morning. Yeah, Prince Harry is raw and open in this moment, and he says it's the kind of therapy that he has always wanted to try, and since starting it, he's felt calmer and like he's found this new sense of strength. He wants to share that with the world, and that's part of the reason why he's opening up this morning. This morning, Prince Harry, as we've never seen him before, inviting the world into his private therapy session. For me, it's all about prevention. The Prince sharing this intimate moment on a new mental health documentary series with Oprah on Apple TV. London is a trigger, unfortunately, because of what happened to my mama, because of what I experienced and what I saw. He says after years of therapy, he's now discovered eye movement desensitization and reprocessing, better known as EMDR therapy. Just notice what comes up. He shows people what a session looks like. Was there a particular trip or does it happen every time? Is it always the same? It happens every time. Everything feels tense. It's being the hunted um, and, and, not, and being helpless. We see Harry crossing his arms and tapping on each shoulder, something called bilateral simulation. And with EMDR, we go back, we look at the past. We look at how your past may be affecting what's happening to you currently. EMDR practitioner Wendy Bird recommends EMDR therapy, one of various techniques to treat trauma for many of her patients. It's changing the way that the experience is stored. And when the brain changes the way it's stored, then again, you don't, you feel differently about it. And that, that tapping is part of the process to allow the brain to start doing that. Bird credits Prince Harry for being open about his mental health struggles. It's really brave to go in front of the world and, and talk about painful things um, and show that emotion. Um, we need more people who can do that. And guys, this kind of treatment's actually been around since the 80s, but doctors say it is just becoming more and more popular. And hopefully with someone like Prince Harry being so open about the process, we hope more people can find help. Robin? Good of him to share. And Maggie, it's good to have you back on this side of the pond for a bit. You enjoying yourself? <laughs> good to be here, Robin. I feel closer to you. I'm just a block away. <laughs> <laughs> Instead of across the pond. All right, Maggie, as always, great to see you. Thank you. Well, hey there, GMA fans. Robin Roberts here. Thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Lots of great stuff here. So go on, click the subscribe button right over, right over here to get more of awesome videos and content from GMA every day, anytime. We thank you for watching, and we'll see you in the morning on GMA. Two balls, two strikes. Spores, kicks, and fires. He struck him out looking! It's over! It's over! The Rangers have won the World Series! Ranger fans, you're not dreaming! The Rangers are the World Series champions! After 52 years in Texas, 63 years of the franchise, the wait is over, and the celebration has begun. Straight up 8 o'clock, 
in the Mountain Standard Time Zone, 11 o'clock on the East Coast, 10 o'clock back home in Texas. Josh Spores wraps it up, and the Rangers are here, World Series champions. Can you believe it? Wow. May the ghosts of 2011 be forever erased. EMDR is a machine that helps you solve the past thoughts. Some different parts that we are going to talk about today are what the parts of the equipment that they use. Welcome to part three of EMDR podcast. Today I wanted to go over the equipment a little more. EMDR paddles are commonly used like this. They're different. EMDR paddles are commonly also called buzzers. Plasters and tapers, these are vibrating devices that the client holds in their hands. Each hand, the device vibrates or buzzers alternately. That is right to left, left to right. This is part of a tactical stimulation during EMDR therapy. The EMDR paddles or plasters are electronic devices designed especially for this purpose. These work on their own for most part but the frequently of of pulses or vibrations can be adjusted the, in most devices. Tactical stimulation refers to tapping on either side of the body. Clients normally either therapist taps the palms of the or knees of the client in an alternative motion or the client taps by themselves by putting their palms across their shoulders. This is a manual approach it is not feasible because of several reasons. One of the reasons is that psychologists avoid making any physical contact with their clients. So making tactical stimulations more convinced a safe and efficient some companies have to introduce tapping devices which look like paddles. The purpose is, is pretty much the same with other kinds of bilateral bilateral stimulation. The only difference that for tactile tactile stimulation in an online or virtual therapy that these paddles are necessary unlike audio or visual stimulations or tactical stimulations cannot be done without help of plasters. EMDR pot paddles are essential tactical stimulation during EMDR therapy. While there are two other stimulations options that can be also done in a variety of many therapists prefer tactical stimulations. Some may use a combination of them. The market of EMDR tappers and pulse makers is a bit complicated and we do recommend that you try out the EMDR kit to avoid any bad surprises. Whatever paddles you end up buying, make sure to understand first how they work and how you control them. This is because the process varies by device. Wrap up on EMDR and equipment. EMDR paddles are essential for success tactical stimulation during EMDR therapy, while our two other stimulations options that can be done 
Virtually many therapists prefer tactical stimulation. Some use of them the market for EMDR tappers and pulse. Already read that. I want to go into what the pallets are like vibrating controllers on a video game that make you delete your past memories that we talked about in earlier shows. You can think of a bad time in the past. The EI movements help you keep focus. Light tube is the board of the therapist finger or board. You can use all the equipment is the board is better in my opinion. Eye movement is also called a light board. The, the headphones I have never used. The plasters I have also never used. For bilateral tactical stimulations easy and cu customizable. I have never used them either. Here is some links for the podcast. Here is a YouTube video. Now, here is the link also to that YouTube video. This is Sam Vaughn for Sam Sports Report, Sam's Mental Health Day. Thank you and have a good afternoon.